Barack Obama, former President of the United States, has tested positive for COVID-19, he has confirmed. His wife Michelle is currently testing negative for the illness. Former U.S. President Barack Obama, 60, has tested positive for COVID, he has confirmed in a message on his Twitter account. His wife Michelle, 58, is currently testing negative. In view of his 131.2 million followers, Obama explained he was suffering from a scratchy throat, but felt fine otherwise. I just tested positive for COVID. I've had a scratchy throat for a couple days, but am feeling fine otherwise, he wrote. Michelle and I are grateful to be vaccinated and boosted, and she has tested negative. It's a reminder to get vaccinated if you haven't already, even as cases go down. His followers flocked to wish him better soon. Brooklyn Dad wrote, We are all praying hard for you to recover, President Obama. You got this. James added, Hope you get better soon. Mr. President. Take care and please get well soon President Obama, penned Vicky. David Weissman added, sending prayers for a speedy recovery. Sending good healing vibrations to you sir, wrote Rosanna Arquette. The former president recently returned to Washington D.C., after spending the winter in Hawaii. Last August, Obama managed to dodge catching COVID despite a huge spike in COVID cases following his star-studded bash on Martha's Vineyard. A total of 74 cases were reported after his party, leading to many bars and restaurants throughout the island to begin insisting guests wear masks again, though it was unclear if they were directly related to the bash. Hundreds of people, including Jay-Z and Beyonce, attended the former U.S. Democratic president's party on the island. The politician was criticized for letting it go ahead after cases of the Delta COVID variant continued to spike across the United States. This led the ex-president to insist that he had disinvited everyone but his family and close friends. Obama even hired a coronavirus coordinator to ensure the party was compliant with all the relevant guidance. But sources at the site later claimed that between 300 and 400 people attended the star-studded event.